Hi friends, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing. Welcome to Updates. This is where I share just what I've been working on, a random update for the week, nothing in particular. Let me show you a few things. I can't remember if I showed you that I did a bunch of die cutting with this silver foil that has self-adhesive on it. So I went through and die cut a bunch of stars and used that all up. My use up to-do box that I showed a while ago is, I mean, it's almost empty. And I can't say for sure that I used everything in it. I either went through and decluttered or put it away maybe if it just shouldn't have been in here. But I still have a couple of strange things in here. Maybe I'll make some ephemera. And then I got some more bits of fabric and threw them in here. I'll show you what those are from. And then I was playing with making some Bonnie and Clive pockets with Atlas pages. So those are in there and I need to finish them up. On the counter, I found some stickers that I thought, well, while I have these handy, I'll do some stamping. So I stamped Seek Joy, Positive Vibes, You Are Amazing, Happiness. I thought these might be fun in journals or for ephemera. And then I showed you that I had all of those UFO covers. I'm, I'm pretty sure. So we had uh, two dog ones. And then I found my fall scrappy one that I did. Uh, I did this months ago, I think. Months and months and months ago. And you can see it's not perfect coverage, but it was good enough for me. This will be the front. So I put a mailer inside, sewed the inside, have it all finished up. Now it's ready to get turned into a journal. This one, I zigzagged around the edges with navy blue, because you know I'll put blue with everything. And it has some crinkle because it's a mailer. And on this one, I did red and I did two lines of straight stitching. They're actually different size and one is fairly straight and then the other one just goes all wild around it. So first I sewed it together and then I went around again. And I think that one's pretty fun. Uh, Zelda really enjoyed helping me make this one. She was a big fan of the lace. And then down here, I didn't get this one finished, but this is where I was headed. This would be my inside, then I would have these. And then I was thinking about this for the ties. I haven't cut the middle piece, which I'll probably use a paper mailer, so it has some stability. And I kind of like the sound of them. I think it's pretty nice. I could use plastic, but I think it might show, I don't know, I think I'll use paper. And you can see on these, I wrapped the paper, I wrapped the inside fabric around the paper and then sewed it in. And I left the white that I attached everything to sticking out. It was just a little more fun. Uh, she is sitting next to me and really, really excited about what we're doing here. She likes the crinkling and the brown lace. Oh, Miss Elda, she says, oh, that's for me. Then I wanted to tell you this weekend, we're doing a girls crafty weekend and we are packing up and I kind of had my bin where I was putting stuff together and I'm thinking I'm going to do some fall cards and I have some uh, sympathy sentiments in here because I need some to make some sympathy cards and some fun stuff just to play with. And then I also am topping it off with this birthday paper that I had set aside for clear it out. I don't actually expect to get to the birthday because I have uh, three UFO journals also that I'll be working on. One of them is from that I Am collection that was in Clear It Out. And I, I, I'm not sure what the other ones are or where they are right now. So I better, I better get them rounded up so we're set to go to the beach. But I just wanted to tell you, um, you know, sometimes I pack big, big projects. And other times I just say, well, if nothing else, I'm going to make some cards and have some fun. I'm not, am I? I don't know. Maybe I'll put these two in the box also because I know I have a lot of neutral and pet stuff. Sometimes we take a whole car load. You just never know about us. But I don't think I'm going to make any more fall journals this year. I don't know. It's kind of delicious. I might. 
Oh, that reminds me. I have quite a few things listed in my Etsy shop right now, and a bunch of those listings are going to expire. I think it's next week. If they drop off, I'm not going to relist them. I'll take them to the craft fair. So if there's something that you want, be sure and get it pretty soon because I notice they're going to expire and you have to pay to relist them and I'm not going to probably do that. So just wanted to let you know. And if there's something that you've seen in videos and you're wondering if it's still available, I do try to mark on the video if it was sold or don't be shy. You can always leave me a comment and ask me. I love to spread around journals and have a great time. I just do not like taking the pictures and listing on Etsy. <laughs> so I hope you're all doing well. She's just sitting over here being a little angel, except she took the towel. You want to say hi, baby girl? You say hi. Show them your pretty eyes. Oh, she says, oh. She took the towel that was in the chair, threw it on the ground, and then, you know, got all her gray hair all over the chair, which is black. So I hope you're taking time for crafting and relaxing and taking great care of yourselves. And maybe on a video soon, I'm going to show you all sorts of amazing things that I made at the beach. Bye-bye.